In this video, I will show you how you can create maps in Battlefield 6 Portal. I will show you the basics on how you can get it running. So the first step you're gonna have to do is go to Google and then type Battlefield Portal. Then you're gonna click on this link right here. And this is where we're gonna sign in. Now there's two portals. One is for the Battlefield 2042 one and the other one is for Battlefield 6. We're going to focus on this one. Now I will say you will need to own an EA account in order to sign in, else you can't use this tool. So we're gonna click on Start Creating and I'm currently signed in now most of the people using this feature will just go to create neo and then start creating a very simple setup we're gonna download sdk file this is needed in order to create our custom games basically and i now downloaded the file the zip file so i'm going to right click it we're going to click on extract all and then extract it there's a lot of files in there so it's going to take a while for it to complete so we now unzip the portal sdk file this is how it looks like now what i would recommend you to do if you're getting started with creating maps is to read the readme file so i'm going to open it and this is how it looks like there's a lot of basic information on the things that you should know in order to get started with creating maps in battlefield 6 then we're going to click on Kadat project and this is the place that you're going to use the most we have the add-on section we have the level section these are the ones that we're going to use so these are the levels for example and this is the add-on section this is where you can also implement your own custom add-ons and this is the project.kadat file this one we're going to use and we're going to use this file but before we do that we need to go back and we're going to open the kadat.x file this one now it's opening so now that is opened we're going to the files here again we're going to kadat project and then we're going to implement we're going to slide basically drag this file into this section here right there and now you see battlefield portal project you can now click on it it's now opening the game engine and you can see project initialization we're now officially in the world builder so to say but it will take some time to load and now we're officially loaded into the world builder so we can zoom in we can zoom out just like that and the thing you need to do now is actually go to portal setup we need to click on portal setup right here and now we see please wait while the setup finishes it's scanning actions so now it's loaded and what we can actually do now is to click on object library we're going to click on that and like you can see like so like you can see there's now a lot of objects that we can actually place into the world so you've got everything you can click on this one these are different ones these are different ones there's endless amounts of objects that we can place on the world and we can also open a world that has been pre-made so what we can do then is to go to the scene option click on open scene click on levels and here you can choose one of the pre-made levels for example operation firestorm outskirts tungsten etc so let's click on operation firestorm on open it is open but it didn't seem like that so i'm going to zoom out actually like we can see i now zoomed out and this is operation firestorm like you can see and this is where the magic happens now when it comes to objects themselves uh, structures basically and we can't delete them currently i don't know why but that will be uh, possible later down the line i assume so by the way for the ones who don't know uh you can just scroll with your mouse then you zoom in and out you can also hold the middle button of your mouse and you can then look around so like this basically and you can also right click on the scene you will then be able to look around like this so that's how you do it now on the left are most of the important things for example you see team one team two you see the spawn point basically you can click them and then you'll see the spawn point from team one team two like you can see and this is for teams we can just click them like this to make it a little bit more um easy to see you can also click on combat area so if we scroll out if we zoom out this edge that you're seeing this is the combat zone so if we click on collision polygon we now select the combat area basically so you can even edit this so all you have to do is click one on one of the circles like you can see and we can now make the map larger or smaller so let's say you would like to play on a smaller section of the map you can just do this for example and you will make the map smaller that's very easy to do now the more advanced stuff is down you can see the scripts, raws, options, raw models, objects, entities, the AI, like you can see. I am not a coder myself, so unfortunately I can't explain you that. And if you're editing your world, keep in mind that this program can crash a lot. So make sure to go to the scene and then click on save scene so you don't lose all your progress. Now let's say you have created your map and you want to export it and actually play it on Battlefield Portal. It's very simple. You're gonna go to Battlefield Portal right here and then you're gonna click on export current level. Like you can see, it's now officially exported. And you can then find your file in the open export section. And you can see that it has now been saved in this specific location. So this is your own made map. What you need to do then is go to Battlefield Portal. Then we're gonna click on create new and we're not gonna click on verified modes. We're going to portal custom, click on default, then click on start editing. Then once you're right here, you're gonna go to the map rotation and you're going to select the map that you created yourself or that you edited on. For example, it's open 
Operation Firestorm. We're going to drag that in the map rotation. And we can now click on this button right here. And we're going to select this file. So we go to this bar right here. Right click it. Click on copy address. Now we're going to file name. Paste the address in there. Click on open. And this is the map that we created ourselves. Click on it. And we now implemented the map. And we can then basically start playing it literally. So that is how you can create maps yourself in Battlefield 6.